Welcome to our weekly tech tip number eight. Today I want to show you a B axis turning for a Farnook uh, single channel machine tool. Um, it's based on the SIM 15, so you can uh, reproduce it easily if you want. Um, in this use case, what we want to do, so we have here um, a few uh, turning operations. Um, you see it on the part here. So by the way, we have this nice Farnook B axis turning part here. And it's just a roughing operation, and then we have a, a finishing turn operation. And if I use the um, toolpath animation, um, you will see that the B axis is uh, changing here. And uh, now, what we want to achieve that our post processor and the machine simulation, so the CSE driver behind it, uh, supports us. So. Currently, um, if I um, just post process this operation with the out of the box SIM 15 mil turn uh, post processor, let me do that. Um, it will post process. Uh, there is an initial um, movement of the uh, spindle or of the of the B axis to 90 degrees. That's the first operation. That's fine. In the second one, we also have an initial uh, value of uh, 85 degrees. But when you then take a look on the motions, there is no rotation of the B-axis. So means we have to um, improve the post processor to support this. To do that, I will open now the post configurator, the out of the box post processor. And we have to add some additional functionality. So what I want to do today, um, because uh, that I can share it on a later point with all of you. I will import this uh, community layer. I already shared, I think it was rig detective number five or six, not to remember, to be honest. Um, nevertheless, I will import this community layer to do this additional customization inside of it. Other opportunity is also um, to create a new layer, to just have a single B-axis turning support layer. But as I mentioned, I will share it, so I will implement it in the community layer in this session. So import the layer. Now I have my community layer here inside of it and uh, can do some additional customization. Um, because time is very um, yeah, limited, I prepared it a little bit. Um, so the first thing we have to do, we need um, some uh, buffer changes. <clears throat> Means uh, when actions should be activated, when we calculate the B-axis rotation, um, at the end of pass, maybe we have to check if it's uh, turn mode and so on. Um, so for that, I prepared here a few buffers. Let me copy and paste it here and explain shortly. Um, so this buffer here, and you will get it when you run the inspect tool in the first move turn. So if you have the first movement in a, in a turning operation, this buffer will um, execute it. And in this one, we will implement in a second uh, procedure named detect B-axis mode to identify if this is an operation which supports this feature. Um, if we have more than one operation then and no tool change, then for sure we also need to enhance this uh, mom first move lib entry. That means in the next operation that we also again detect B-axis mode, does this operation support it or not. Finally, in the end of pass, we have to do a, like a check turn mode. Um, inside of this procedure, I will show in a second, we just uh, disabling the um, tool compensation, finally. And for sure, in each movement, like the linear move and the circular move, we need to calculate our B rotation. So first, let's start with the detect uh, B axis to explain it a little bit. Again, I will copy it because uh, maybe you are uh, bored when I'm writing now all the TCL stuff here, but I will explain it again. So as you can see, like um, best uh, practice, I have put it now in this uh, section two here for procedures. And uh, this is my uh, yeah, procedure for detect the B-axis mode. Means if the um, operation type is a turn finishing, because only turn finishing operations support this B axis, and if the info axis of a mom use B axis, and if the variable is two, 
Then we are in the B-axis mode for turning operation and what we do here. So this is a variable, maybe interesting, a TCPM type that activates, uh, for example, for Farnox, the G43.4. In case of Cinomeric, it would um, activate uh, finally the Truaobi. Then we do a small redefinition of the um, GSIS uh, word um, to um, a different format. Finally, doing the MOM do template, set TCPM on. TCPM on means in this case then uh, G43.4H1 or the adjust register and bring the address format back to the original one to digit 2. So why we do that? Because of this G43.4. Um, we use a zero real format, then it's possible with this redefinition to output this G43.4. Finally, we enable the address, the force axis. In other cases, we disable the force axis. And um, also in this, I mean, this is something you can uh, customize or modify later on. Uh, otherwise, we also disable the force axis. And we're just doing a mom do template for the tool length adjust. That means in case, for example, for a standard turning operation, it will output just a G43H1 or H and the adjust register number in case it's, it is not a B axis turning operation. So the second one, the, um, also very important, uh, let me go back to the buffer here, is calculate the B rotation. So for that one, um, I mean, I will not reinvent again all the time um, the, the procedures to calculate that. Um, you can reuse this one for multiple cases. Uh, finally, it's the calculation of the B rotation value. And this is important here, this B rotation variable, we have to add later on or in a minute in our block template uh, for the linear move and for the circular move. Okay, um, that is the B rotation. And you can also, for example, when you go to the NX manufacturing form, you will see there are a lot of proposals how to do that and uh, very uh, good proposals. Finally, this is also one uh, from the manufacturing forum. So last but not least, we have the check turn mode here. Again, let me copy it from my other screen here, place it here. And uh, the only thing I currently doing here, so if the mom use B axis mode is a uh, two, so we are in a simultaneous mode. Then we uh, switch off the TCPM mode, it means in case of Farnock, it's a G49 then, and uh, the slip turning mode, and uh, currently not needed. In uh, case you use it for Cinomeric, uh, then uh, you have to comment in. Okay, so then there's one important thing. Uh, the speed rotation should get an initial value. And uh, let me set it up here as a uh, global variable with a value of uh, zero. Okay, uh, I think that's it. So now we have to add the block templates or to extend the block templates because currently, so for example, the linear move turn, it not has any definition of a force axis <clears throat> and we need it here. So going to the definition file editor, add a word, and we can reuse the existing one, the force axis here. And our expression is now our B underscore rotation value from the procedure where we calculate the value. So move it to a place like behind the linear axis here. And similar thing we do now for the circular move. So circular, 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 I don't find it. So let me use the search here, circular move turn. And we also need an address here again for the axis. And dollar B underscore rotation. And move it also behind the AJ 
uh, behind the air gap. And OK. So now with this, those implementations, our post processor should work now. So let's uh, double check post process. And so that is the first operation. Don't have any uh, B axis rotations. That uh, looks good. The second one, we have our activation here of the G43.4. And we have our B axis value here 90, 105, 95, 85. And then the return move cancellation. And the next operation again we have our movements of the b-axis. So that looks great. <clears throat> At this point, I will stop because uh, we uh, reached more than that's, uh, 10 minutes. And in the next weekly tip, I will show you how the simulation works. Because currently, what is the case now? Um, I mean, this is our final goal. If I now simulate the machine here, let me start simulation, the out-of-the-box simulation, and press play. Then the first working very looks fine. And then we see in the second operation, finish turn, we get a uh, small error here and we have to enhance <coughs> the CSE driver a little bit. Okay, so talk to you in the next weekly tech tip about this topic. Bye bye.